who dreamed of having two sons, the second of which would be named Alex. I don't like this story. Now it seems the vivacious daytime Emmy nominee was surprised by how taken she was with this unanticipated daughter, mostly because she didn't cry as much as the unmarried son, but also because she was adventurous, carefree, so beautiful just like her mom. Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot, or what do you do? David, I cannot show you everything. Okay, well, can you show me one thing? You just... That's what you do. You just fold it in. Okay, I don't know how to fold broken cheese like that. And I don't know how to be any clearer. You take that thing that's in your hand, uh -huh. and you... If you say fold in one more time... It says fold it in! This is your recipe! You fold in the cheese, then. Don't you dare. You folded it. Damn it! Oh, good. Now I see bubbles. Damn it! What does burning smell like? And then the layer and this hold up town. That's a red So the Emmys love me Let it be so Let it happen That's what I long to be
Let me just take this back. <laughs> Don't you run away, you little bitch. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know, you actually had to drop out week two because you were sick. Have you been crafting this since then? Did you already know what you were going to do? Tell us. If anyone ever knows me, knows that I do a good Monroe Rose impression. And I did it actually last, game, last time at Snatch Game of Love. We won't talk about the results, <laughs> but what we will talk about is the longevity of my impersonation. I was so sad to not be able to come that week. It was also my birthday week. So I was also sick for my birthday week if the judges want to bestow upon me a late birthday gift. You know, get pressure. But I'm so excited to be back. I love Snatch Game, I love acting, I love improv. It is my favorite, so I'm glad to perform for you all tonight. Thank you so much for your support, guys. <laughs>